up, losers? This is The Last of Them GameCube. Welcome back to more Pikmin 2 in the last episode. We returned to the Valley of Repose for the first time in like 10 episodes. Well, technically 11. And ended up getting a bunch of the above ground treasures and opened our pathway to a dungeon that we're not gonna... Actually, yeah, in this episode, we're gonna be going to said dungeon. And getting a lot of stuff there. Just warning you, this dungeon is really long. Well, it's not the longest dungeon in the game, it's... But it is quite intense. In fact, I might have to end up speeding up and playing music in that dungeon there, so... I am going to... Uh, I am going to... Buddy! Buddy, Joe, thank you. I'm just gonna get 25 of these guys, and I'm just gonna think about how many Pikmin I'm going to be bringing back to base. Uh, what? Are you kidding me? Please tell me the- The watch is back with the freaking fiery ball blacks. Miyamoto! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Seriously? I know what to do anyways if uh, Pikmin catches fire or anything else. You can just whistle them and they'll instantly heal up. Oh my god, do not eat any of my Pikmin! Do not eat any of them! Ah. I wasted a fucking purple potion! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Anyway, what? Oh, there it is. My god, I cannot believe that happened. Why does it have to respawn? Why does it respawn the day after I kill it? Enemies are not supposed to do that! Especially not a fiery Bulblax! But why did that happen anyway? It makes no sense, man! Alright, let's see what we get here. What is this pocket watch gonna be called? And how much is it worth? Ooh, Nintendo! I like that. Oh, it's 110. Temporal mechanism, okay. I like how this watch has a Nintendo logo on it, even though I'm pretty sure Nintendo doesn't make stuff like that. Anyways, done with that. And I am going to put these blues back and get my other colors sorted out. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to show you what Pikmin I got. I ended up getting 10 whites, 15 purples, 35 reds, and 40 yellows. Reason for this, is, the reason I don't have any blues with me, is because this dungeon that we're about to enter does not need any blue Pikmin. But it has a bunch of other hazards that has every single other type of hazard in here, so... What do we got? Interesting, my metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below, but that seems illogical. <laughs> Trust me, there's a ton of machines down here. And you're gonna find out the hard way. Anyways, the subterranean complex. This is a very long dungeon, so if you'd... If you have like a couple of hours to spare, like I do right now for recording this, Grab some popcorn, folks, because you're going to be here for a while. Alright, anyways, this is one of my favorite dungeons of the game. I don't know why I like this dungeon so much, but I just do. Anyways, this layout should seem familiar. Anyways, yeah, this is actually a different attempt than the first time, mainly because that new enemy over there... A bumbling is called a bumbling snitch bug. It's like a swooping snitch bug, only it grabs your captains instead of your Pikmin. And it just throws your captains onto the ground. It basically treats you like a swooping snitch bug, the same way that a snooping snitch bug treats Pikmin. The reason why I'm saying that this is my second take is because one of those one of those bumbling snitch bugs grabs both captains, causing all my Pikmin to disband into the poison hazard. And then I ended up losing like 20 Pikmin because of it. Oh man, I hate that so much. And another tutorial came up. Sorry about the random cut. My roommate was just trying to tell me to 
keep my voice down, even though it's only like 7 p.m. at right. It's only 7 o'clock at night when I'm recording this, and yeah, he has to be up for military training. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways. Oh, but the. The LMR has been kidnapped. Your co worker has to say. Okay, no. I, I don't even know where I was going with that. Anyways, I just want to take care of these bumbling snitch bugs just so they won't be a pain in the ass. Come on, hurry up. Oh, he did grab Louie. Okay, that's kind of funny. Okay, there we go. Finally came down to Earth. About time. Anyways. Yeah, I didn't really do that much talking, although I did I did recently get a copy of Luigi's Mansion 3, and it is really good so far. Oh man. I am really liking Luigi's Mansion 3 a lot. I am a little over halfway done, but it's not I'm not that close to being done. I've all, I just rescued my second the second toad of the others, so I'm going to throw a white on top of that. And then the others take this down. Anyways, that is the babies right there is a snowy bulbar. That's also another species of Pikmin different from that type of bulbar up there. That is called a hairy bulbar. Basically, when it loses half of its HP, it also loses its hair. It can't. The hair can't grow back. So yeah, okay, no traps over there. I don't remember if this sub level has any traps though. But if it does, that'll be a happy accident. Uh, actually, what side is the exit on? It's on this side, okay. So I'm gonna see. There we go. Ah! Crap! Oh man. Anyways. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I like how I was throwing a couple reds in there, even though it was a poison hazard. Okay, so there is something in there. Okay, I'm gonna kill all the enemies in here. Kill you. I like how I've pretty much mastered killing small enemies with just a single Pikmin. Anyways, kill you. Oh, it was all the way back here, so it wasn't at the bottom after all. All right. Oh, hello. Telephone dial. I forgot that was here. Are they even going to be able to walk that back with that s snowy bulb orbit? Okay, apparently. I'm surprised they didn't glitch through the wall. Anyways, yeah, I don't think there's anything up top there, so we're just going to let that snowy bulb orb live. Anyways... Bring this back. Yeah, this. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this. Eh, never mind. I didn't forget. I thought I would, mainly because this is the second take, but oh well. Anyways, what do we have here? Nouveau table. <laughs> yeah, in case you're wondering, nouveau means new in French. Oh, man. My French is incredibly rusty, but I still recognize some stuff. Even though I never had the ability to speak a language fluently other than English, I am hoping to learn Jap to speak Japanese fluently, even though I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, jeez. Anyways, what? Oh, right. The... Actually, how many purples do I have to make? Okay, so there were two purples that went back to base. Oh, well, I'm just going to kill the hairiness. Destroy the hairiness. Jeez, that sounds weird. <laughs> My god, I didn't think that would sound so weird. Get rid of the hairiness. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My god. Ah, jeez. Anyways. Bring this there, and ba-bam. I don't think there are any other treasures aside from this. I'm going to disband my Pikmin just to be safe. And I am going to head over here. Okay. What do we get here? Gamma tape, as opposed to flex tape. <laughs> I love the reviews that JonTron made for that one. Super, uh, blah, exhausted super stick, not super exhausted stick. <laughs> Jeez. And that's the last treasure. 
Anyways, this is the only sub-level that's gonna look like this. Every other sub-level is gonna look the same. And I guess you'll see why I like this dungeon so much, despite not knowing why. Sub-level two. Every other sub-level looks like this. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a purple onto these eggs over here. I'm hoping I can get another purple potion back, even though I highly doubt that's gonna happen. Actually, no. I gotta keep myself zoomed out here in case there are other traps, because this dungeon does have a lot of traps. Anyways... Okay! Anyways, you have a bunch of glow sticks. Oh! Great! Off in the distance! A brand new enemy! That right there is called a careening dirigibug. Dirigibug, dirigibug, however the hell you want to pronounce it. Those things spawn a new type of hazard called bomb rocks. Remember in the first game where you're able to grab bomb rocks? Well, it was originally not going to be that way in the first game. It was just going to be a regular old hazard. But in this game, it reverts to their hazard state. Pikmin cannot pick it up. You can't pick it up. Well, unless if you're playing the one of one of the battlefield battlefield maps of two-player battle, but I'm gonna go over that at another point in time, way in the distant future. Well, it might not be so distant, it might might actually just be a few months away from now. It's definitely gonna be in 2020, I know that. Anyways, yeah. Bomb rocks are a hazard in this game. They went back to being a hazard. Anyways, yeah, these guys spawn bomb rocks, and the second they hit, and bomb rock hits anything, it starts to go off. And you do not want to throw a purple Pikmin on top of the bomb rocks, otherwise they will instantly explode. Okay, what you want to do is wait for them to drop their bomb rock. Ah, fuck. Okay, you want to wait for them to drop their bomb rock, and wait for them to move around if they spawn a God damn it. Stefan, why did you do that? Why did you not listen to my orders? They spawn a bomb rock, and basically, when they do, you're gonna be in deep dude. If they spawn a bomb rock before their other bomb explodes, you're pretty much, they're pretty much stuck in an infinite loop where they will never show off the opportunity for you to kill them. And, oh man, come on, drop already! Ass. Anyways, once they drop their bomb rock, wait for it to explode. And then once they get back up, just throw Pikmin at them, and then swarm them like crazy. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back! Wow, I'm surprised they didn't... Uh, I'm surprised they didn't die. I'm surprised... I'm just surprised that that bomb rock didn't kill this 3G bug. Considering how close the ground it was! Ugh. Whew. I always get so worried whenever a careening Dirigi bug drops a bomb rock on us. Anyways, yeah, fighting multiple Dirigi bugs at once is kind of rough. Oh no, 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 no! A uh, swooping snitch bug mixed with Karini Dirigi bug. Come on, game. Well, dungeon designer. Well, to be fair, the number of enemies and the species of enemies that attack you and that spawn in specific sublevels never change. It's just the layout of the dungeon and their placements are diff always going to be different no matter what playthrough you have. Heck, even when you reset the game, the dungeon designs are going to be different. Oh, man. And it spawned another rock! Come on. Get away from the bomb! I wish it would just drop to the ground immediately. Okay. Oh! That bomb should be far enough away for us to be able to attack the Dirigi bug without having to get hurt. Yes! Okay, go, go. Yes! Ah, yeah. Anyways, I, yeah, there's one more. Uh, okay, so it's not too bad of a sub-level, even though there are going to be a bunch of other sub-levels similar to this. Come on, drop your bomb. Drop your egg, as you know who says. Anyways. Go down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes! Okay, I think that's every enemy in the sub-level, so I'm just gonna... 
show off where the treasures are, and then I'm just gonna bring them all back to base. Okay. Alright. I found two of these things. I think there's another sub-level, or bleh, another treasure around this sub-level just to begin with. Well, to begin with. To... Yeah, my eyes are starting to hurt. I think there's another treasure in this sub-level to collect. If I'm wrong, then oh well. Spirit Flogger. Anyways. That gear just reminds me of the Pikmin animations that Nintendo released a while back. Actually, I think it was a few years back when Pikmin 3 was released, or Hey Pikmin came out. I really liked those trailers. I wish Nintendo would do more of those. Anyways, 100. I think it's one of those batteries from Network Mainbrain. I think that's a battery to one of those really expensive vacuum cleaners that used to be made back in the 90s or 80s. Oh, it is the last one. Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh, right. I forgot I have Nectar here. I could just... Refresh my Pikmin strength. Okay, I don't think I have any more f leaves. No, I do not. Okay, now all I have to do is find the exit. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, and... Oh, there it is. Okay. Going down... Well, Alright, I think I'm going to end this video off here. Next time on Pikmin 2, we are going to continue with the subterranean complex. Oh, I was about to say, why did that take so long? See you guys then.